this is what a father is. The happy ones, the sad ones, the ones who are overly excited about today, the ones who have nobody to share it with. This is for the soon-to-be ones, the ones who are new to this, the fathers who've lost their fathers. This is for all of you. I walked into a home where I didn't know if I'd be accepted. Entering for the first time, I said hello to my best friend's mother, and she smiled, saying, Oh, so you're Jordan. I said yes, as me and Mark went upstairs to play Xbox 360. I looked around, and I saw things from his room, and things from his mother's. No ties, no suits, no office. And it felt like it was only them two. But I didn't want to ask, but I was compelled, so I said, Where is your father? His head fell out of his face and dropped to the floor like this wasn't the first time he heard this question. <laughs> I couldn't say he was at work or downstairs or not home at the moment. But he looked at me and said, honestly, Jordan, I don't know. And I wish I did know because if I did know, I'd ask him, why did he leave me? I saw his father's mistakes beginning to duplicate in his life. He'd always give up in video games when he would start losing. Right. And he would never solve problems in school when everything got tough. Right. I looked in Mark's eyes and I could see he has learned so much from a man that he has never even seen. Well, a man looks me in my eyes every day, ready to teach, teach me something, and I ignore the fact that he has been here about 30 years longer than me. Mm. I apologize. Dad, I see you every day, well, every day others wish to see their dad. And even though you're a short man, and <laughs> a little bit taller than you, <laughs> in some weird way, I still look up to you. I still smile with gratitude to be right. proud to call you a part of me. Thank you for teaching me how to kick my dreams through field goals, shake the dust off my shoulders, and break through the hard times. Dad, thank you for teaching me how to play football. Thank you for teaching me how to do things better with my hands other than texting. You taught me so much. <laughs> like to lead and not to follow, to love and not to hate, to whoever slaps me in my right cheek, look them directly in the face and say, if you hit me again, I will defend myself. <laughs> My son. Well, what I'll never thank you for is God giving you such a heavy hand, built like a rock, and it hurt when you stole my backside. But I was also happy for that heavy rock hand because it always shattered the walls that was built upon my heart. Come on. Dad, I wish you could teach other boys and girls what you've taught me because, well, we are the next generation, and all of us men are. So I pray that our men would get out of their seats and stand up for something. Come on. There are too many single mothers and so little married men. Unlock the mindset that dreams have to be hidden behind bars with our fathers. We have done the same thing, taking both of them and placing them on our hearts and keeping them behind our ribcage. It's time we be fathers to the fatherless. Yes. But Dad, when I'm 18, or when I'm old and gone, promise me, for all the other children in the world, Stretch out your hand. Give them all a reason to 